This was in possession of my mother, who died about 10 years ago. It was my great-great-grandfather, so her great-grandfather's. His name was Albert Jones. He was incarcerated for polygamy in the state of Utah. And I guess he took this book, this autograph book, while he was in prison. Yes. And he had some of his fellow inmates sign the book. As a teenage boy, he came across the plains and then he settled in Provo, sent there, I think, by Brigham Young. Well, in the 19th century, the Mormons practiced what they called spiritual midwifery, which was a, to, to everyone else, we call it polygamy. And most of the Mormon men were ordained to take polygamous wives. Uh, by the 1880s, this had come to a head with the federal government and Utah Territory. And by 1888, most of the Mormon leaders and elders were in hiding, and the ones that weren't successfully in hiding, uh, like your great-great-grandfather, were rounded up by the federal authorities and incarcerated in the Utah Territorial Prison at uh, what is today Sugar House Park. This autograph book of your great-great-grandfather, he wrote a poetical sentiment pro-polygamy in the start of it, and he passed it around to most of his other fellow inmates that were incarcerated at the prison, and they wrote letters and sentiment and pieces of dog roll and other things all in support of the of Mormon polygamy. By 1890, Wilfred Woodruff, who had the president of the LDS Church, who had been in hiding himself and wasn't in the prison, he published the Woodruff Manifesto of 1890. And this allowed Utah to ban polygamy. It was forbidden among the Mormon people. And six years later, in 1896, we got statehood in exchange for giving out polygamy. This particular page is signed by George Q. Cannon, who was one of the highest ranking officials in the LDS Church at the time, and the most famous person uh, in the book. If he had lived, more than likely he would have gone on to become the president of the LDS Church itself. As it was, he founded his George Q. Cannon and Sons Publishing Company, which went on to become the gigantic Mormon bookstore retailer chain known as Deseret Book today. Oh, really? Interesting. Do you have any idea what your little autograph album might be worth? I have no idea. I've never had it appraised, nothing. The condition, obviously, the pages are falling apart in that, but that's not going to affect an object such as this at retail, this autograph book would sell between three to five thousand dollars. Okay, thank you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Appreciate the history.